So our research is focused on auditory processing in children at risk of dyslexia or people with a reading disorder. We've also done some work in specific language impairment and autism and the work has implications for people with schizophrenia as well. So our innovative technology research has been to test and adapt a, a commercially available EEG gaming system or so an EEG system or an electroencephalography system that's been designed for gamers as an input device. So whenever we see or hear a stimulus in the environment there's a, a tiny little electrical pulse is released in the brain and we can measure that electrical pulse by putting electrodes on the scalp. So that allows us to get a picture of how a particular brain responds to a visual or an auditory stimulus. One of the stumbling blocks in our research is access to participants. Right? We know that things like dyslexia and language impairment and autism are really rare. They're rare conditions um, affecting you know, 5 to 10 percent of the population. So having them to be able to come into our labs and do our research or participate in our research is tricky. The benefits of this innovative technology is that we don't need them to come into the lab anymore. We can take this out into their homes or we can visit them in their schools. Right? We can take this technology to them so we can get exactly the same information that we've been collecting in a lab but we can do this in somebody's home. This is a real issue in disorders like autism where the home environment is much more familiar, much more comfortable and so the participants are more comfortable, we see we get better quality data and we'll be able to get more of it, we'll be able to get to more people.